afternoon, lovely ladies. Hey, Janet. Hi, Janet. What's happening down there in North Carolina? We're pretending to be Kelly and Ryan. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So Lisa, who do you have visiting you today? Just in case there's some new viewers who don't know. This is my sweet goddaughter, Sarah, who's also my first cousin. And I know that sounds a little weird, but it's really true. Um, she actually is the daughter that I've never birthed myself, but her mom, who's my best friend, and my aunt loans her to me at my request. And so we have a day with the men are all occupied. Mm -hmm. And so um, Sarah called and she said, listen, I, I only have a, a certain amount of time because my dogs are unsupervised. And so can I come and have breakfast? So we have cooked a brunch together today that was bomb.com. Fabulous. We did fried bread that we've never done before. And it literally was a piece of loaf bread in bacon grease. So good. And you fry it fast, Janet. So like you don't want it to absorb all the, you know, right. bacon yeah. grease, but you flip it quick. Girl, girl, stop. And it can be used as a breakfast or a snack. a snack or it would have been great for a grilled cheese sandwich yeah. or just put tomato and mayonnaise on it or egg and tomato yes it was so good and was that in the cast iron pan yeah it was and i'll tell you where it came from you know i told you that chad tucker and um keith who's the cameraman came to do roy spoke segment this past week here and he, the cameraman keith is from Oh gosh, I just know he's British. Yes. He's British, I, I think maybe way. London. Anyway, he had this great <laughs> accent. All I wanted to do was sit and listen to him talk. Don't you love that? I was like, your voice is so soothing, Keith. Can you just talk? Anyway, before he left, I asked him, I said, hey, where you're from, do you do a lot of cooking? Cause he's been married like 37 years and has grown daughters. And he said, I do brunch on Sunday morning. And I oh, said, right. what do you do? And when he said fried bread, I was like, okay, I got to know about that. <laughs> so Sarah was the perfect person to do it with because it was, it was really good. I'm going to be doing that. I'm and going to do it again, but I'm going to need a nap at some Nutella. point today. <gasps> Nutella. Sarah, were there any of those muffins left that she made to lure you over? They were so good. And yes, and I'm taking some home. And she the heart shaped ones, delicious. Yeah. Heart shaped for you, sir. Anything pumpkin flavored, I'm going to eat it with chocolate. Chips. With chocolate chips, semi sweet. Yes. Yeah. So Sarah, we know you on the vlog as the, the person who Granny's Farm to Table Cookbook was that you were that was dedicated to you at the time when you were about to get married. Okay, okay let's not cry today. And. Where are we in the timeline now? Have you been married almost a year or two? Where are we? Two years almost. Two. How has so, that time gone by? This month was the month that the cookbook was released two years ago. Right. And she's been featured in a local magazine. Yes, she has some of her wedding photos. So is that at the top? The, the top the picture? Oh, oh, wait. Let me let you show it, baby. Okay. Give them a little description of that. So at the bottom here. Okay. Yes. Can you see it, Janet? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay. All right, Sarah, I'm going to point okay. bottom picture. Wait a minute. Okay. Right here. That's a view of Scott. Hottie Scotty. I just love him. Yes. And the beautiful decorations. Abba Designs did her flowers. And there's the archway that she got married under. Yeah. And I took over this. And there's them get doing their vows. We all cried at this. All of us did. <laughs> and then that's her cake. And we all ate like we had no tomorrow. And there was pumpkin flavored cake. There. Oh, I forgot that. Yes. Pumpkin spice. Cream cheese ice. Fabulous. Yep. Cream cheese wine. Uh, I think. And apple. I don't remember. Apples. Apple. There was a caramel. Spiced apple, salted caramel. Yes. And oh. I had two pieces of cake, Janet, because I wanted to taste all of them, but one of them had already been eaten, so I didn't get all so three. That's a recent edition of what magazine? Oh, sorry. Let's um, see. Triad Weddings. Triad Weddings. Wow. Well, isn't that and exciting? It's two years later, and then this is just. They're still using my ad. 
That's, that's fabulous. Could you bring this for me? Can I yeah. keep this as a copy? Yeah. Yay. Okay. So you also got married at Ryan Park. I did. Or your reception. 31 years yeah. ago. Yeah. So there's a story there. Do you want to hear it, Janet? Sure. You want to tell it? Yeah. Tell it. Okay. How, we, how you picked Ryan Park. So blah, blah, blah. we had no idea where we were going to get married. And then we had been looking around, looking around. And then we called Lisa one day and we said, well, we've got a um, tour planned for Brian Park. And of Which course is that, a golf course, Janet. It's kind of okay. like a golf course has tennis courts. It's been around a long time. And the convention center is on the 18th hole, which is where the wedding and the ceremony and the reception was. And so anyways, we called Lisa and it was really special because she also, how many years would it have been? Thir uh, 29. So 29 years mm -hmm. before that, she had done the same thing. So she got to come on the tour. It was me, her, and my mom, my two moms. And then it was so much fun. We picked the spot immediately. So we both have that in common to share. We, we both have body husbands. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, come on. It's true. Yeah. You know, when you were making those muffins yesterday, Lisa, I laughed so hard when I was reading the comments. And one of the viewers said, uh oh, Sid's going to be jelly. <laughs> <laughs> because you were making a big to do about trying to pull sweet Sarah over to the house with this baking and the pictures over from the cookbook. And I'm using what the I don't need to drive with food though. No, but what if I always said that if I'll cook, you'll come? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't need to be bribed with food. I would have come. She does come sometimes too, Janet, just to help me do stuff that the boys really don't have any interest in. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, for example, mm -hmm. there's a there's a blanket, a quilt that someone made. Uh, one of my friends, Peg, she has a recipe in one of the cookbooks. Peg, she made this quilt for Spencer mm -hmm. when he graduated from high school, aka Baby Boy. Well, I want to hang it before he gets back home the next visit. Okay. So I needed her eyeballs for sure to say, how does this look? And what the heck do I buy to hold this quilt up on the wall? So. She's very helpful that way. And today she helped me with technology issues that I, they drive me insane. Well, also with the help of Janet on the phone, but yes, yes. We all have to work together on that because there's always yes. something new to learn. Yes. It's the way it is. Exactly. So um, some people wonder what the relationships are between you and these great young women in your life. So I know. They, they, keep, they help keep me feeling young. Yeah. So Sarah's a cousin because yeah. she's the daughter of my dad's father's baby brother. brother. That's right. Her uh -huh. father's brother is my uncle. My dad is her uncle. Right. Right. No, that's true. Yeah, I just that right? Her dad is my uncle. Right. And my dad is her uncle. There right. we go. We got that right. And then Sid fits in because she's my brother's daughter. She's my right. niece. Yes. And your second, second cousin, but you're both my minute. friends too. Yeah, they're also friends. Ages. I don't have to like to discipline y'all anymore. Yeah. Well, change your diapers or time. anything like that. Anyway, did and both. Kind of nice because your boys, Lisa, are not that different in age from Sid and Sarah. Exactly. So everybody kind of grew up together and <laughs> besties. Now we're all really good friends. Like we went to Drew's. Okay, you need to tell the truth about that. What? Y'all were not besties oh, as no. young children. But now we are. Like they were like siblings. And so the funniest story, there's many of this one and Drew. Sarah used to wear her hair up like this, but like really high up on her head like that. Right. And she would, she would suck her thumb and she hooked her finger like this and she twisted her hair. And so she's sitting in the back seat. I have a vivid memory of this. And Drew is like touching her or like crossing the back seat Bugging boundary. Me. And she's like, he's touching me. He's touching me. And so there was a period of time that your mom and I thought, oh my gosh, we are never taking y'all somewhere together again, because they were like fire and ice for a little while. Yeah, but right. now it's the best season. It's been such yeah. a blessing because um, 
as your children, as my children have aged, and, and I'm speaking for Winifred too, you know, sometimes they don't want advice from mom, but they'll call and get a girl's opinion from Sarah or Sid in a skinny minute. And which yeah. that's great. I mean, Spencer you know. usually calls Sydney first and Drew usually calls me first. And then if we don't pick up, it's the opposite. But for example, a couple weeks ago, Drew sent out a group message to me, Sydney, my husband, Scott and Spencer and said, let's do something tonight, but very, you know, something very low key. So we all went to Drew's and cooked out, grilled out, hung out. We do stuff like that because we're friends. And I always love that. Even if me and Winifred don't get an invitation. Yeah. That one. Yeah. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Y'all are still together. Next time. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm cool with it. I'll bring a pie or something. I'll bring that. You were out of town. Oh, okay. That so she would have been invited. So Sarah, I think at some point in time you should share your two fur babies with um the viewers. I would love to do that. Speaking of them, shortly I need to wrap this up because they are at home. Um, at my parents' house because they can't be at my house right this moment. And so I need to make sure that, you know, they're not. What are their me. names? Uh, Maxwell and Sadie. And they are a chocolate lab and a black lab. They're adorable. Beautiful. Beautiful. They're adorable. Yes. They're high energy. So she tried bringing them here. And I'm happy for them to come in as long as Sarah's attached with them in some form. And Gato, Barn Cat, went berserk. Oh, really? And I tried to pick her up to comfort her. Oh, and yeah. She scratched she me. She, just, she was just freaked out by the dogs. Because they're big. Yeah. And they're puppies. So they were like, you know, yeah. all over the place. The dogs knew no different, really. Yeah. But the cat did because she thinks she owns the place. So yeah. I ended up putting her in the bedroom and closing the door. She would not come out from under my bed for hours after they left. So I said, Sarah... I yeah. love for Max and Sadie to come, but we're going to have to have another location to meet yeah. at for us to be able to see the dogs, yeah. which means we'll come to your house yes. or to your mom and dad's. Yes. Right. Because I thought I was going to have to have psychiatric exactly. evaluation for the cat. <laughs> Seriously. So we won't do that again. Yeah. But. Well, she does on the place, kind of. Yeah. She prances around like she owns the place. Oh, yeah. She's going to make her appearance in your videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. She loves it. Right on. Well, that's great to catch up on your news, Sarah, and spend a little bit of time with you. We don't see you often enough. So thank you. I'm, ha I'm happy that you dialed up today over the internet waves. And yeah. Can I share that maybe what we might be doing soon? Yeah. What do you got? Sarah and I love pumpkin. Oh, yes. We love pumpkin anything. So today she said, we've got to do pumpkin stuff with the fall coming. Yes. So maybe some dog treats. <gasps> yes. Oh, great idea. I mean, you can do pumpkin with anything. We did have the conversation though that pumpkin is a safe thing to put into good for baked dogs. goods for dogs. Very something good. about their coats are shiny yeah. and it's whatever. The and it makes yeah. their coats shine. So get it. I know that you were raised like this. So I told Sarah, I said, listen, if you get your hands on pumpkins this season, you know, with fall coming and agriculture around here, get us some pumpkins and we will roast the pumpkins in the oven, take the pulp out and we will make something with that. Yes. And Sarah said, what'd you say? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Well. So we're going to do some fun stuff. And of course we do pumpkin muffins every year, but we'll do yeah, pumpkin pie. And we do pumpkin creamer in our coffee. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. We even did a pumpkin themed shower for Danielle, remember? Yes. Anyway, we're pumpkin freaks around here. Starting mm -hmm. the 18th. Oh, is it official? Pump yeah. How do you know? I looked it up. Oh, Starbucks. It's Duncan, so it's smart. all coming out. All the pumpkin. You are so smart, Sarah. Sweet, <laughs> smart, sassy. All those things rolled into one. Sometimes right. salt. Well, thank you so much for the visit and for helping up with some of our tech today, Sarah, and filling us yeah. in on the latest. And guys, you have you have the you get to send us out with the usual. Oh, that's right. You have to say cooking. Thank you <laughs> for watching, cooking, cutting up, and keeping it real. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <Yeah. laughs> we'll be back with the uh, dogs later. Listen, Kelly, we're off this camera now.